So, you told me about three of you, but your group was seven. Ha. Ah. Well, here's where it becomes interesting. Now imagine us, me and Eivold, two Wehrmacht deserters working with Polish Home Army operatives. The first one I met was a woman nicknamed Goretta. We met when she was saving my life, actually. She did that several times afterwards. She was the one who made us bury our hatchets on several occasions to keep our group in one piece. She was a great soldier. Acted more professional than any of us. Even these silent unseens. Silent who? Well, two guys, nicknamed Lead and Rubble. Accidentally ended up in our company. Oh, they didn't trust being Avril so much. We got off to a pretty difficult start. Lead was a trained marksman, full of patriotic ideas. All in all, he and Rubble, the engineer, were trained in England to aid the Polish resistance. Imagine them compared to me, a person who lost his cause and belief in his nation. And the Eivold didn't give a fuck about anything. But still, you were fighting Germans together. Nazis. Huh. When it came to killing Nazis, I have to tell you, none of us were so delighted as Joachim, a Jew originally from Munich. He survived Jews in labor camp, took part in a death march and ended up in Kumhof's Sonderkommando. Became an inside man for partisans. This is how we got in touch. We were ordered to get him out of the camp at some point. Okay, Manfred, we need to slow down a bit. I'm having trouble getting all the information in order. Maybe let's start over. This time, chronologically, all right? All right. I have plenty of time.